Hey everyone, and welcome to Multiverse Media. I'm Asher Friedberg, and today I will be breaking down all the major easter eggs we got in the first episode of Marvel Studios' WandaVision. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share to help our channel grow. Also, spoiler warning now for episodes 1 and 2 of WandaVision. I will be going in chronological order while I break down the easter eggs I and many other fans have noticed so far. I'm willing to bet there's a lot we haven't found yet. This series seems like it will be packed with MCU easter eggs. The first easter egg is going to be Wanda and Vision's address, being 2800. This could be nothing, but it could also be the designation of the universe this series is taking place in. Yes, it's the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but Wanda has clearly manifested or at least been brought into an alternate reality that she apparently has control over. Mysterio had once said that he was from Earth-833, and that the MCU is Earth-616, back in Spider-Man Far From Home. Although that was a lie, this does appear to be how the MCU will be designating their multiple universes within the multiverse. The MCU is actually designated Earth-199999 according to the official canon. Maybe the reality Wanda and Vision reside in is designated Earth-2800, or maybe it's just an address. The next easter egg is when Wanda refers to Vision's indestructible head after she accidentally breaks a plate over it. This appears to be a callback to when Thanos brutally executed Vision in Avengers Infinity War to obtain the Mind Stone. Wanda has seemingly repressed that memory now that she has Vision back, but I'm willing to bet that memory will be coming back to her. Next, we have the commercial for the Stark Industries Toastmate 2000. Besides being a clear nod to the history of Stark Industries, there's also a dark callback. The timer of the toaster ominously beeps in a fashion where the listener can't tell when it will go off. If you don't remember, back in Avengers Age of Ultron, we learned Wanda and her brother, Pietro, had been in an apartment building explosion that killed their parents. The two of them were buried in rubble for two days, and in front of them laid an unexploded Stark Industries bomb. We also got a quick nod to Sokovia and Wanda's background with the Sokovian hello bit. Don't think it's anything more than that, but figured it was an appreciated callback to her history. Our next easter egg we caught was the bottle of wine used at the dinner party, which we had seen long ago in the WandaVision trailers. The bottle here says House of Contempt in English, which is no doubt a reference to the House of M storyline in the comics that I see the series pulling from going forward. Towards the end of the episode, Mr. Hart, Vision's boss, begins to choke, and both Wanda and Vision freeze as reality begins to malfunction around them. It takes a long time for both Wanda and Vision to make the decision to help Mr. Hart, because it risks exposing themselves as who they truly are. After Vision saves his life, suddenly the demeanor of both Mr. Hart and Miss Hart changes drastically, and it ends with Mr. Hart teeing up a promotion for Vision at work. It seems that after Wanda or Vision effectively try to change reality, the reality corrects itself and even improves. This will be seen again in episode 2. At the end of the episode, we get rolling credits in the style of shows like I Love Lucy and The Dick Van Dyke Show. Also, one of the credits reveals Abe Brown is the director of the show. If you remember that name, Abe Brown was a classmate of Peter Parker's at Midtown Tech. He was revealed to have survived the snap, so he is now 5 years older than the last time we saw him so maybe he's found himself pulled into this reality somehow. My guess is we will find out. Finally, as the credits continue to roll, we see that S.W.O.R.D. is viewing Wanda's reality. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, according to Tops, S.W.O.R.D. stands for Sentient Weapon Observation Response Division. And that is every major easter egg I noticed on my first viewings of WandaVision Episode 1. I plan to do another easter egg video for Episode 2 soon. What were your thoughts in the first episode of WandaVision? Was it anything like you expected? Let me know in the comments below! Thank you all for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and share, and I will see you all next time.